Hi everyone, standing in front of me is the 2950 BH Passport. This coach actually offers a lot of options and I'll explain more of that once we get on the inside, but it's all nice and lit up for you. So let's take a look on the outside first. We have our pass through storage at the very front. So you have extra space to store your camping goods. Your awning stretches all the way across to even above both your entrances. So you have complete shade if you need it. You have some outdoor speakers. There's even an outside kitchen, which is really nice. So you actually have two burners and a mini fridge. And there's also a little cubby of storage right above your two burners. So you can put some kitchen utensils in there. This entrance actually goes into the bathroom as you can see. We'll talk about that in, on the inside as well. And then here at the very back, here's one of the options that they included which i think is really cool so if you are not using this bunk and you don't have any extra guests you could uh, you can fold this up tongue twister you can fold this up and actually stow away really tall items in here and that privacy curtain can close it off so people don't have to see it on the inside but love that they have that so let's go through the main entrance we have our solid steps which are really nice and then to my right, we have our master bedroom. So this is a queen size bed with storage underneath of it. Really long tables on both sides and you actually have USB and outlets. So you're able to charge your phone and what other electronics you can while you're sleeping. His and hers closets on both sides with really pretty mirror panels on the doors. And you have storage that kind of connects the both of them. But let me show you what that looks like. Here we go so it has a built-in clothes rack plus an additional shelf so you can put some shoes up there if you'd like and then kind of whipping around on the left or i guess the right from the main entrance you have your lcd mounting bracket so this is where you can purchase yourself a mounting bracket and have a tv hookup in your bedroom so you can help relax and unwind you have two opposing barn style sliding doors. So you have a little bit of privacy in here. And walking into our kitchen and entertainment area, right next to our bedroom entrance, we have extra storage and the shelves actually can be removed. So if you wanted to hang things on the clothes racks and coats or really anything else, you have extra space. Coming into our kitchen, we have storage below our sink and also is an L-shaped countertop. Our sink is open and it has um, it's stainless steel with a pull-down nozzle, which is great for washing dishes and makes it a lot easier. You have a nice window so you can look outside while you're cooking. Extra countertop space here in the corner so that you have room for food prepping. Looking up above, we have our cabinets. And then your microwave to the right of that. So let me show you what the cabinet looks like. It's open. Just below your microwave, we have our three burner top stove with a glass range cover. And then of course your oven. To the right, we have our um, fridge. I almost said stove. We have our fridge. And then across from our kitchen, we have our booth dinette. And what I really love is the booth dinette is connected to your couch. So when you aren't eating, you know, you can sit down, relax, and watch some TV. But when you're ready to have dinner with your family, you just remove this cushion and kind of pull this over. And then you're able to sit down at your dining room table. But with it being connected, you actually have a little bit of extra space for seating. So I love that they have that. Across from your couch, we actually have our entertainment system. So you have your extra cubby right here. And then this is your Bluetooth speaker system. So this is where you'd access your outdoor speaker as well as your indoor speaker. And it even has a USB port right there so you can charge your phone and whatnot. Your TV is sitting just above. And then you have storage that kind of runs all along. So you can put board games in there, use it for the extra bathroom storage if you'd like. Couple built-in shelves. 
Now at the very back, we have our bunks, which I know you guys love. So since this bottom one can actually move, like I told you guys, the top one is permanent. So you just have extra space if you need it. And it also has its own privacy curtain. And last but not least, we have our bathroom. So this is our second entrance. And I love that they have two entrances to the bathroom so that dirt doesn't track in and out of your camper and people can easily just walk into the bathroom. To the left, we have our sink, storage below as well as above in our medicine cabinet. Across from both of our entrances, right in the middle is our toilet. And this is a shower tub combo, which is really great if your dog gets really dirty, you can rinse them off in there or it can be great for the kids. And then it has its own skylight, which is really pretty. So that is it for this passport, guys. Let us know what you think.